Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with your week two screencast video. Uh, the purpose, as I mentioned last week, is to highlight this week's activity. So, we are moving into chapter one in the textbook, The Curious Researcher. You do need the textbook. Uh, basically, yeah, got to have it from now all the way to the end of the course. So, uh, a couple of activities this week. We have discussion board three and discussion board four. The purpose of chapter one is to develop a research topic that will sustain your research, your inquiry for the remaining seven weeks of this course. Okay, so uh, let's get over to the discussion boards and take a look. I'll bounce around a little bit between the discussion boards and also the weekly module. So, it's pretty straightforward of an activity here. Um, <clears throat> exercise 1.1 in the textbook on pages 21 and 22. Steps 1 and 2 are to be done in a Word or Google Doc, and you can attach that to the discussion board post, as I mentioned here. Step 3 is going to be your initial post of that activity, as it says. Complete Step 3 uh, will be your initial uh, discussion board post for Part 1. Part two of this discussion board will be identifying a discourse community. So you have to go to the weekly unit here. Let me get to the week two unit. <clears throat> week two, chapter one. All right. And here I have uh, um, some uh, conversations about a research topic areas. The idea of a discourse community is something that we all operate in. It might yield a interesting um, um, topic for your research over the uh, semester. Um, I have a couple of links to some articles by John Swales or Dan Melzer. Uh, I have a, a lecture video here that explains the notion of these uh, discourse uh, communities and some research topics that you might be able to identify. So as I roll over back to the discussion board. This is going to be part two, identify a discourse community, and I have the prompts below, all right? And minimum requirements are here in this particular thread. Now, once this board's done, I think on Tuesday, we're going to roll over to the actual formal research proposal. Sorry about all the scrolling uh, here, <clears throat> okay? Um, the discussion board uh, number four is exercise 1.5 on pages 34 to 38, if you would read through the instructions here and how to pull together the post. I'm looking for not only your initial post, but two to three internet sources to help you develop content. Uh, do not cite, uh, I don't need citation, but I do need the links to your sources there. And as always, as part of the course, you have to have two responses for each uh, discussion board here. And let me see if I can get Scroll back up to the schedule. So we have initial post on 1.1 on Tuesday. Um, the initial post for uh, discussion board 4, one point, uh, exercise 1.5. The actual proposal is on Friday with both responses due on Sunday. I will review the proposals as quickly as possible. Let you know uh, my thinking on your research topic. And I'll be able to comment and guide you um, on your way to uh, moving into Chapter 2 next week, which will be all about researching. All right? So if you have any questions or issues, um, I might try to clarify everything on a lecture video by Friday. Uh, that usually will get into the whole proposal assignment, but that will go up either Thursday, yeah, probably about Thursday of the week. All right? If you have any questions or issues, send me an email.